thank you. Uh, but anyways, let's just jump right in and find the bugs as we go along. Um, hope you're all having a good weekend. I needed an off day so bad yesterday. Oh, I was exhausted. And a little bit of pain. Now that, like, we're working on, uh... Nefex flexibility plus doing a little muscle building on the side. My leg is just sore. Did your sum cub through? I don't think so. If it was another Twitch Prime sub, you might have to refresh the stream to get the alert to come up. What happened to my leg? I tore my ACL last year. Had surgery about a month ago. I not clear that. Five rupees. Dunking on some hoes, you know me. Uh, I think the take any bug is still just two items. <clears throat> and they all are the same, so it's like consumables generally. Ugh. Come on, bro. I don't know why doing this from right to left is so much more difficult. What's up, Aaron? Dirty thirst. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. All right, what do we got down here? Nothing. What's up, Brucey? Yeah, Total said he was pretty busy this weekend, so he wasn't going to have too much time to do like big bug fixing, so we'll probably get some more new seeds at some point this week. I keep forgetting that's always green rupees, so there's no point. Drops are not shuffled yet. Figure out what total would eat, do even if they weren't bugs. You just make them both collectible. Oh my god! Uh, Davey, thanks for the two months of Prime. Heck yeah. Welcome back, brother. Hope you're having a good weekend. Good morning, solo card. But, yeah, like... <laughs> oh, I don't know what you would do if you wanted it to be non-consumable. Like, there are a bunch of them, so... But 
Who knows? I think it'd be more interesting if they were both collectible. Um, then it gives a little more weight to Zelda 1. Not that it really needs it currently, but... Big money. Um, let's see. I found powder so far, I think. That's it. I'm not a cheater like Solsky who needs to hex edit in quick swap. I wouldn't even begin to know how to even do that anyways, so. Do I want you to guide me through it? No, it's okay. I don't care that much. <laughs> it's not worth it. What was that yellow rupee? That was a Zelda 1 rupee. I believe that the yellow is just a denomination of 1. Blue is 5. Uh, I'm not sure what the other colors are. Or if you can get more than 1 or 5. I actually have no idea. I think eventually there will be larger rupee uh, amounts for Zelda 1, but I'm not entirely sure if they're in the end or not. <clears throat> eh. Hey yo, Zelda 1 heart, let's go. Hey yo, a glove, let's go. also Zelda 1 and Metroid 1. Uh, very early stages of development. Lots of bug testing. Um, but hopefully it'll be ready for public testing sooner rather than later. Uh, Matt Never, thanks for 38 months. What's up, Mystic? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Shame you don't know much about Zelda 1. Well... What better time to learn a little bit about Zelda 1 than uh, with the impending quad rando coming out? That's basically what I did with Metroid 1. I played through Metroid 1 on my NES for a couple hours before, uh, while I was, like, troubleshooting computer problems. Um, to prepare for uh, this quad shenanigans. Alright, uh... I can get to Death Mountain already. It opens up some stuff in SM. Out of logic. And look at all these sacrifices. Yo, we got an arrow and silvers right next to each other. LMAO. Good luck on the quad bomb. Yo, Nate Breeze, thanks for that 54 months. Baby seed. What if we did a, a bid war?
to see which game I beat today. Any further feedback on the tracker? I think everybody likes it. You haven't made the stream overlay for the bid war yet? SMH. Prog bow removed? Yes, prog bow has been removed. But I believe that uh, <laughs> caused other issues, but fixed the bow issue. What's up, Sabbath? Yep, some Andy stream before the Super Bowl. Yo, who's watching the Puppy Bowl right now? Any takers? I used to love... We, we used to just put the Puppy Bowl on in the background. Before the, the Super Bowl actually started. We're watching the Ivan Bowl. Is he, is he bowling in a hat in time? Usually it's like all day. Alright, we've got Varia, Master Sword. What else did I get? I got something else. I think it, it, SM bombs, I think. How you doing, foodie? Tracker says SM bombs. Well, I have to click the tracker. Um, all right, let's go to Death Mountain. It's time to play Super Metroid. Can you imagine this with a door rando? Uh, entrance shuffle coming soon to a quad rando near you. Futon, I mean, so theoretically, Futon could set it up for auto tracking, but basically every revision, Futon would have to go back in and change the auto tracking pointers so there's just no point until it's a little more stable it sounds like a futon problem i mean it kind of is futon offered and we told them not to worry about it because it wouldn't make sense Grade marching band DM music. <laughs> I'm not. If we get more like random crashes and music problems, that means my SNES is dying. <laughs> so I'd rather not I'd rather that not be true. But thanks, little Miss Dairy, for the 14 months. <laughs> God, excuse me. I'm gonna go get this key just because I don't have any yet. And once we get a sword or, like, a weapon for Zelda 1, uh, we get, like, the first... Since we have Raft already, too, we get, like, the first three and a half dungeons. Uh, available? So... It's like, you need Raft to get to four, but I think you need Ladder to beat four. Uh... If my, uh, if my rando brain is thinking properly. It's a Mr. E game. All 
All right, let's make sure I have... Um, I do have Morph Bomb. Okay, so it was SM Morph Bomb. How can you play this yourself? Uh, you can't yet. Your time will come. Yeah, I think in an ideal world, uh, you remove them from shops. Um, so that you have to find the arrow somewhere. Same with, like, the blue, uh, the blue ring. I think that'd be ideal situation. That's how I'd want it anyways. I'm not sure what all weapons damage, like, Aquamentus and, uh, like, obviously, the level, th level three you can do entirely without a sword. Um, everything in there takes damage from bombs. But I don't think all bosses take damage from bombs. I don't think Gliok or Aquamentus do. It's a blabado. <sighs> oh, the wand can hit everything? That's good to know. Um... All right, I'm gonna, uh, I should probably do, oh no, we have morph bombs, we're fine. You have to have the Famicom controller to kill a few, what? Help. Help! All right, we're fine. What? Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's see if we can do the good strat. Nice. Considering we're playing this on a SNES, uh, getting a Famicom controller to work would probably be uh, kind of a pain in the ass. even know that was a thing, to be honest. Alright, crate is dead. Um... 
<laughs> the uh the boss prizes are not randomized yet. I mean the bosses are the boss prizes are all shuffled in SMZ3, so the code base is already there for you know, two of the games. Ah. Okay. Um Man, do I want to do Bubble Mountain right now? I guess I probably should. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, boss prize shuffle should also come to quad rando. I think entrance shuffle will make Z1 a lot more interesting and a lot more of a time commitment, obviously. So right now, like, Z1 might be one of the better games to clear because everything is pretty much secluded to dungeons, you know? And the dungeons aren't that long, assuming you're not, like, dying all over the place. <clears throat> wall jump god that shit's so hard without high jump boots <clears throat> what's up dorito ways for me to to get up there but until i actually killed both of the waivers bomb jumping is risky I mean, it wasn't really like, you know, all of these games already had a randomizer. Um, so it wasn't like, you know, you're writing all this logic from scratch. There's a lot of logic already in place and you just had to make some modifications based on Uh, you know, the portals and other games. So it's pro it probably wasn't as difficult as you would imagine. Not saying it was easy, but... Uh, we got a hook shot here as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
What's up, Kid Death? Hey, yo. Wave plasma already? <laughs> I cannot wall jump today, goodness gracious. Yeah, Spazer and Plasma are the interchangeable beams. Please get a super. Thank you. Okay, I'm actually gonna... I don't have charge yet, so I want to get a super from these guys. Isn't there a version of SN that you let's use both? No. Using both uh, is a major glitch. And it most it will most likely crash. Super Metroid. If you don't know what you're doing with it. Microwave isn't a beam. It's just a <laughs> abusing X-ray with plasma beam. Microwave isn't like its own beam. It also doesn't work on everything. wall jump off the screen. Uh, the screen was locked there until Brockmire died. sucks without uh, the ability to go up fast. That was early.
Okay. <clears throat> All righty. How do I know which bow it is? It would say Z1 bow if it was for Zelda 1, and also the sprites are just different. It's very easy to tell when it's an NES sprite versus a SNES sprite. Z1 bow is vertical, Z3 bow is on an angle. I mean, you just looked at the Z3 bow and it was vertical, so that's just wrong. <laughs> Uh, once it's fully finished, uh, win condition will be beat all four games. Uh, in the early testing phases of this, the win condition is just set to beat one game. Uh, unless you... <laughs> Alright, so it's either beat Zelda 1, beat Metroid 1, or beat both Link to the Past and Super Metroid right now. Because those games are still uh, combined for credits. <clears throat> I have beaten Ganon in Zelda 1 in every seed so far, though. <laughs> now that I know... I'm just, like... <laughs> now that I've done... Uh... Metroid 1 Torian, I feel fine about beating that game. You just gotta kind of brute force Kraid and just out DPS him. Uh, Ridley's free. Mother Brain wasn't too bad. Mother Brain wasn't <laughs> good. But it wasn't too bad. Uh, missile overflow bug should be gone. Hey, yo, blue ring. Hey, yo, boots. Hey, yo, white sword. Oh, my God. We're cooking today. <clears throat> um, this fixed both of the bows <laughs> for Zelda 3 getting deleted, uh, but introduced some other bugs. Ice Rod? Okay. Uh, let's see. Ice Rod on Sky. Ooh, that was like frame perfect. Damn, I'm good. That one is a little more scripted. M1 Ice Beam. Zelda 1 is beatable now? No. Uh, we need a candle. We need a bow. We need a ladder. And we need a flute for Zelda 1. I can do a bunch of Zelda 1. Uh, but right now, I can really only do the first three dungeons, and I can enter a couple more and not beat them. Uh, 
I mean, what else is similar in Link to the Past? You have, like, the bow and the boomerang and the flute, I guess, if you want to consider them similar. I'm also just not... I don't agree with having, like, shared similar items. removes the number of progression items there are. And that's it. That's my that's my take on shared shared items. Uh, but yeah, eventually, once the, um, oh, once the quad rando is done, you'll be able to generate any combination of the four games. Um, just generating solo seeds, any, any of the duo combos, any of the, the triple combos, and then all four at the same time. So, should be a good time. Or Metroid 1, though. Nobody's gonna want to play Metroid 1. and get level 8. I'm sure that's doable. Potentially, anyways. Has a bomb limit been added to Z1 yet? Uh, probably not, no. Tempered sword. Oh, 
I think the issue that Cross Product had was his first Zelda sword was the third one he found overall. The fact that I found my first two in Zelda, Zelda 3, um, I think at worst I will probably just get a tempered sword in Zelda 3 if that's where the other one is. Crossfire found his first two swords in other games, and then the first Link to the Past sword he found was in Turtle Rock. So it could just be an issue detecting the progressive sword order. For whatever reason. That's what I'm going to imagine it is. Step ladder. Uh, I want to save this power bomb actually. like the internet ruined having step siblings for for everyone. Ah. It had to do with sword progression being capped at two levels somehow. If that was the case, it definitely wouldn't have said tempered sword. Internet ruined everything. Yup, yeah, that sounds about right. How did I miss that door? Missing the D boost is whatever. <laughs> More shocked that I missed opening the door with wave plasma. All right, so with, uh... Eh. I think I can beat dungeons one through five. In Zelda one now. All right, I don't have enough power bombs for this, which is actually kind of a problem. <laughs> I need one of these two items to be a power bomb pack. Or just like I don't even know if the bugs or like the I don't think either of the bugs can be a have a power bomb drop. I don't know that for sure. I don't know. Not saved. Rip. Uh, yeah, this is all running on SNES. 
uh, Zelda 1 and Metroid 1 were ported to the SNES for this tour on console. There'd be no real way to to do it if uh, they were on separate consoles. be way list less into this if it was emulator only. I don't like playing Link to the Past or Super Metroid on emulator. And like, you know, I would have if I had to, but uh, I wouldn't be like, yeah, let's do another one. That would have been like a... Alright, well, Quad Rando is like an every once in a while thing, I guess. Playing games on emulators when you're used to them being on console, they just always feel gross and sluggish. Ugh, it's less bad now that emulators are, you know, still getting better, but it still just feels completely different. All right, well, Billy Mays is probably just dead forever. Rest in peace, Billy Mays. <laughs> Alright, easy CWJ. Hey, yo. Damn, I'm good. It's like I... S should speed run Super Metroid or something. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Put on oats, my by mistake. <laughs> eh. Come on. Yo, SM Ice Beam. All right. Never had Jersey mics. Uh, they're pretty good. If I had to go to like a sub place for a sub, uh, it'd probably be like Firehouse subs or Jersey mics. In terms of like the more national chains. Um, Hot Belly isn't really national. Since I live in the southeast, I just go to Publix if I ever want a sub sandwich. Uh, I 
I shot that first missile too early. <clears throat> Jimmy John's? No. Jimmy John's is like good. You're hungover or in extremely intoxicated in college. And you need a sub at 3 in the morning. But Jimmy John's actual sandwich is pretty mid. What's up, emo? Quiznos? Quiznos isn't like. Quiznos doesn't exist as much. Around the US as it used to. Uh, Fantoon is dead. Yeah, there's still a few left. They're not, they're not everywhere anymore. We had a, we had a Quiznos on campus in college that would, that was like in our bookstore. Uh, so we could use our meal plan stuff at it. I ate Quiznos all the fucking time in college. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know, with fast food chains, like fast food chains, right? Um, uh, like Roy Rogers, for example. I don't know if you guys remember, are old enough or remember Roy Rogers. It was a, you know, like a Popeye's KFC competitor back in the day. And they went out of business. But where I lived in Maryland, uh, a family bought all the Roy Rogers restaurants and just, uh, I'm, I'm assuming, paid Roy Rogers to keep the name. And so there's still a bunch of Roy Rogers in Maryland. Like, if Quiznos or whatever ever actually does go out of business, I'd be pretty surprised if that didn't happen to, like, some of the locations, you know? <laughs> old man Lasso remembering the good old times. Hey, Roy Rogers was my favorite fast food fried chicken place. It cleared KFC and Popeye's easy. I also hate Popeyes. I've only had like one good Popeyes experience in my life. Most of them, the food has been absolutely god awful. You know who else does really good fried chicken? Publix. Publix stays winning. The knee is starting to feel better. Oh. 
pub subs for the win. Dude, okay, so when I first moved to the southeast, uh, I lived in Atlanta proper, basically. And... Um, uh, where my apartment building was, we were in, like, a town center. And so there was a Publix, like, a quarter mile from my apartment and damn if I didn't have like two pub subs a week it was great <laughs> now you probably do them like once every other week maybe if Kelsey and I's schedules are just like both busy on the same day which happens you know not infrequently uh, but it happens it doesn't happen too often but it definitely happens every once in a while uh, we'll just be like, want to do a pub sub for dinner? All right. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of PDQ. I'm going to pretend that it stands for Purple Dairy Queen. I wish we had Kane's Chicken near us, but Chick-fil-A has a, a pretty dominant stranglehold on the greater Atlanta area. The closest Kane's to us is actually in Athens, Georgia. Um, which is where the University of Georgia is, which is about two hours away from us. <laughs> have I ever been to Marietta? Yes, I have. Raising Cane's chicken is pretty mid. All right, listen, it's... <laughs> Pretty much any chicken place is, like, the difference in levels of how good the chicken is is going to be pretty low. Like, the difference, right? Barring, like, a couple, like, absolutely atrocious chicken places. So, generally, the stuff that makes a chicken place good or better than the rest is the extra stuff. In my opinion, anyways. But if you're talking like, you know, if you put all the the fast food chicken places in a bucket, you know, the, the difference in quality of the chicken is not going to be that high. Kane's extra stuff sucks though, dude. Kane's has way better toast than any other chicken place. Oh, I just need a power bomb here. So, damn, y'all making me hungry. How do we even get on this topic anyways? Oh, so, oh, somebody talked about Jimmy John's. That's how we got on this topic. I remember now. Ah. <sighs> Anyone attest to Jack Purtle? I have never heard of Jack Purtle. Is there still a big chicken on Roswell? Yes, the big chicken is still on Roswell and Marietta.
Good old big chicken. Alright, you know what I wish the U.S. had? I wish the U.S. had Max. I think that was my, my favorite international fast food. It was like Burger King in the U.S., but if Burger King was actually legit. But instead, Burger King is absolute booty butt cheeks. <sighs> also, yeah, McDonald's outside of the US and probably Canada is pretty baller as well. I tried not to eat McDonald's while we were in Sweden, but it was one of the only things open giga late, and it was literally five steps away from the hotel. So we had McDonald's, like, twice. <laughs> but... Max was the, the only other, like, fast food food that we actually got while we were in Sweden. And it was... Fantastic. I have boots, I forgot. A lot of American burger joints are booty butt cheeks. I mean, if you're talking about like fast food chains, burgers, then yeah. You can probably make a burger at home that's as good or better than a fast food chain burger. But if you're going to, like, a nicer place, like, nicer places burgers are... Or, like, you know, a local owns whatever. Like, the brewery that we go to a lot has a really, really good burger. Dang, you're a chef, Blobadil? When you coming over and cooking us a nice five course meal? <laughs> Do I ever get up to Knoxville? No, I've never been to Knoxville. Knoxville's pretty far up there. That's like two hours past Chattanooga. Ah! For us, anyways. I'll trade you five courses for making you better at Zelda. Done. Lock it in. Alright, level three first. Dude, my visual cue, like, comes and goes. You have to be so much farther away from the, the transition than you think. Small key in here. Another 300. All right. That yeah, was a Zelda 1 screen wrap. Okay. Small key is actually really nice. I have so few of them. 
All right, we've got a compass in here. Uh, I can't get this item from here, but I can look at it. Okay, we don't need that. <clears throat> have a small key in the next room. Limit is normally 8 by default, and then you can buy an upgrade for 12, and then an upgrade for 16 in two of the dungeons. Dude, I haven't gotten a single... <laughs> I was about to say, I haven't gotten a single bomb. What are you doing, bro? I hadn't gotten a single bomb drop from any of them. All right, we got another key. Very good. Well, I don't think the uncapped bombs was actually intentional. And Total is just leaving it in for now. Um, okay, I need to go north here. Quack. Um, I have one item this way. <laughs> There's no way I took damage from that. <clears throat> Uh, I did get the blue ring. Uh, it just doesn't visually update unless I save the game in Zelda 1. But the blue ring effect should be intact. Dungeon has questionable layout. Eventually, the dungeon layouts will be a little more random, <laughs> I believe. Uh, but yeah, so normally Dark Knights would do a full heart, I'm pretty sure. So, so them doing half, you know, shows that the blue ring effects are actually happening, even if it's not visually there. All right. Um, there's one item over here to the right, and then we're done with Dungeon 3 besides the boss. Oh, I do have to kill everything in here. Bro! Okay, so I'm at level three, which is here. So let's go to four, which is right over here. Doritos, hell yeah. So, Moni is visiting until Tuesday, so we're all watching the Super Bowl tonight together, and we all have our own food of choice. 
Kelsey got some mac and cheese. Moni got some nuggies. And we got me some pigs in a blanket. <laughs> uh, who am I cheering for? Uh, I don't really care that much. TBH. Uh, I usually just hope for a good game when I don't have, like, an allegiance to any of the teams playing. And, you know, as a Washington football team slash commanders fan, uh, my team is generally not in the Super Bowl. So, yeah, I don't really, I don't really care too much. I'd probably be rooting for, if I had to pick one, it'd be the 49ers. But, like, either way, you know. As in Major Tutty, let's go, dude. All my homies love Major Tutty. I don't think I had to kill all those. Okay. Uh, we're in this dark room, so nothing to do here. Um. I do need to go this way for an item. need the map. Are you in Vegas, Bobadil? I didn't know that either. This room's not dark, right? Fuck. Well, I should be fine, actually. Let's kill all the dots. Please. Alright. Okay, um, I'm gonna go up this way. There's a small key in here. Oh, you're in San Fran. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in this dungeon. Dungeon's pretty small. All right, Gleok. Ow. White Sword isn't killing the Vires in general. Uh, I don't think they do normally. I think you need Magical Sword to kill the Vires in one hit. The the White Sword prevents the, the blobby dudes from splitting. But not the Vires, I don't think. Normally. <gasps> Juno Bug, come here! Uh oh, ho, 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 ho. Hello, did you have a good nap? Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, yes, we're so good. Oh, yes.
Yep, we got big pupper. Well, no, not big pupper. Small pupper. Also not... <laughs> not even a pupper, really. She will... She will suffer from perpetual... Puppy face, because she is a small doggy. Uh, but she's gonna be four this year. Do you guys believe it's already been four years? Crazy. Seems like just yesterday we had the the Juno puppy cam while she was in her pen in my office. Um... We don't have a pug at our house, actually. But my family has... My parents have one right now, and her name is Pippa. If you want to see a clip of her, exclamation mark, Pippa. And she's a little cutie. Um, yeah, I grew up with two pugs, and they were a very large part of my childhood. Um... <sighs> How do I want to route this? I guess let's go this way. <gasps> Big shield that it's gonna inevitably get eaten by a like-like. But yeah, with both my parents working, uh, you know, pretty important jobs in D.C., uh, I was home alone a lot after schools, after school, so it was just me and the, the two puggos that we had, so lots of, lots of quality time with the puggos for me. Heavily considering uh, getting Juno a little puppy friend this year. Late, later in the year, but this year nonetheless. Boomerang drop in here. Yeah, Juno being four, I think, is a is a good age to get a second. We we we're probably just gonna get another golden doodle, if I had to guess. They're just such good dogs. It's hard to beat. Wow, vanilla! No, like, I love pugs. I really do. But Kelsey's a really light sleeper. So, like, pug sleeping. <laughs> if it ever wakes up and starts breathing normally, Kelsey would wake up, which is a problem. And as much as I love pugs, um, they shed so much. Um, so, uh, Golden Doodle is nice because of the no shedding. They're hypoallergenic, which is good for my asthma. Uh, and they're just such smart dogs. Like, Juno was a piece of cake as a puppy. Where the fuck am I going? I can go up.
But yeah, like, I, I grew up, you know, middle school and high school, all of my clothes, basically, were just perpetually in some amount of fawn <laughs> hug hair. Like, there was no avoiding it. And like, you know, you can you can take a lint brush to your clothes and get let's be generous and say 85% of that hair out, but 15% of that hair out hair, you gotta like pick out by hand or you just you just live with it. So like <laughs> uh But I will, I will always cherish my puggy memories. Uh-oh, I didn't see what that was. Alright, do I have the spoiler log open? I do. Um, Z1 level 2? Uh, I don't, I, I don't need to look it up immediately, but I'll, I'll just look up to see if there's anything major supposed to be in here and see if I remember getting that or not. <laughs> I wish I could get 85%. There's, it's so much hair. And it's so small and fine, like, it just gets, like, intertwined in the threads of your clothes. <sighs> All right, we got map drop in here. A uh, slightly newer version. This is V4. Um, none of the bug fixes, really. Uh, minus fixing the glitched bows from the old version. Uh, Total's been pretty busy this past week. Um, so no, no major bug fixes yet. I don't think there's anything in that room, it looks like. Alright, we got a bomb drop in here. drop in here. <clears throat> How close I think till Total can release this? Uh, not for a while, most likely. Nothing in the room south. Okay, so I think that's everything. All right, so I got a hammer in here, right? Oh, I need to see what the... Oh, it's Underworld level eight. Or level two. All right, so there's... One key, Z1 key, Z1 key, Z1 map, Z1 compass, hammer, Z1 rupee, Z1 key, SM power bomb, 300 rupees, three bombs. Okay, so we got everything important. Whatever we missed was uh, or whatever the item we was that we didn't see wasn't a major upgrade. 
All right. So. I think last but not least, we're going to five. Uh, before we go to five, let's go see what's in the take innies over here. We did see one power bomb pack that we got. Bo -do -do -do. So all the take innies will have a key, which isn't terrible. Honestly. Oh, there is one cave. The the cave where you get the letter for the witch is up here. I always forget about this cave. And we can do level five. I can check uh, the white sword drop so we have enough health. And we'll be on our merry way back to Link to the Past, probably. Uh, there's no bomb cap in Zelda 1 currently. That'll be fixed at some point. Well, apparently I can screen wrap to the dungeon from up here. I think that's the only room that we have to kill Pole's voices in, so that's nice, I guess. Okay, this puts me up here, right? So we have one item down here. A key for a key. I was too slow. It's probably faster for me to up B, but I want to save my health. <laughs> the fact that this game starts you with three hearts by default is kind of cheeks when you save and quit.
Ayo, the double. Okay, we have a map that's up that I can uh, check without using a small key. Alright, small key drop in here. What do we got? Uh, the actual map. Cool. <laughs> There's something dropped in these next three rooms. Oh, baby. We're cooking. Oh, no, I gotta kill a pole's voice. Oh, I don't. Okay, perfect. Got our first bottle. The three? Alright, we don't need to kill these poles voices. And I don't have the flute. Uh, so we are done in here. <clears throat> Alright. Check the white sword. Sheesh! 50 bucks! Alright, so we can save, and that'll give me my... <laughs> my corrected sprites. Easy peasy. Alright. Link to the past. I'm still missing a good amount of stuff. So yeah, theor theoretically, with uh, this sword problem, as long as my last sword... I, I think I might just find a second tempered sword in Link to the Past if the fourth sword is in here as well. Other than that, I don't think there will be a sword problem like there was in, in uh, Cross Product Seed. I should probably look at my map, too. Double orb! How am I talking to you from here? Alright, crystal, green pendant. Good crystal. Alright, well now Link to the Pass is wide open. <laughs> Yes, the uh, Turtle Rock always being Crystal 7 problem was fixed. Yeah, that was fixed pretty early. The first revision, you couldn't talk to Sahashvila. Uh, but Total fixed that pretty quick. Hey, what's up, F uh, Fisk? How you doing? Hey, what's up, Necromancer Areshkagal? Hello, hello. Hope you're having a good weekend. <clears throat> All 
<laughs> Hell yeah, medical team man. This was the game that I would beat probably once or twice a year growing up. And it was the first game that I looked up when I found out speedruns were a thing. And then I watched one and I was like, damn, that's cool. I want to do that shit. <laughs> and here we are, 12 years later. Huh? I was not quite six when this game came out. I was not quite two. This was the first game that I beat by myself without significant parental help, but that wasn't until I was obviously older than two years old. Uh, <laughs> ah! Come on, bro. <sighs> uh, Rando's been going good, actually. Four dungeons in Zelda 1 done, two Metroid bosses, two Metroid 3 bosses, and then one Link to the Past boss. Ooh. So we're... Oops, wrong button. So we're cooking. I... I picked old man. Super Metroid, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> I could beat with Gravity Suit or like High Jump slash Spring Ball. I'm still missing a good bit for A Link to the Past. Uh, Zelda 1, I need the bow and the recorder and the candle. Or, in place of the candle, the wand and the book. Um, then Metroid 1. Might be go mode? <laughs> I can't remember if I need high jump boots or not. Metroid 1. Uh, my seed has been stable. Uh, the other seed from this batch uh, was not quite as stable. It had some progressive sword problems. It's like every 20 months I sub to you total adds a new game to the random kelp <laughs> thing. Nice. Another another almost two years and we'll get a uh, Zelda 2 in the mix. Uh thanks for the 81 months, Ebra. What was that item? That was a Metroid 1 missile. <clears throat> ba 
Metroid 2 was the Game Boy game, yeah. Um, I would be very surprised if the handful of us who are going to be interested in all four of these games don't run multi-worlds a handful of times, especially for testing. That'll be something else that we're going to have to test before Total can release it to the public, you know? Um, I'd be very surprised if we don't ever do one. Or if it doesn't get supported. 30 hours? I won't take that long. With four games, you have so much that you can do. That, like, really bad BK modes shouldn't probably happen. <laughs> With six games, you could type six. God, what a world we would live in. How long before they put a quad rando in GDQ? Who knows? Depends on how long it takes to actually get ready. Who knows if GDQ would even accept that? It's a pretty long chunk of time. Like, I imagine when you're good at all four games something like four hours is probably like a good seed finish time but even then like it can be pretty tough to like consistently sub three smz3 like you know bad seeds can be pretty bad so you know that's just kind of like amplified when you also have zelda one and, uh, you know, Metroid 1 in the mix. Bada bum bum. You just have to be one of the four. Where did I get Burna? I have no idea. Then the, the time is pretty dependent upon which game you end up beating. Oh, was it in Hookshot Cave? I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I have a mushroom as well. Yo, chat bomb me burner with crowd control. Let's go, dude. <clears throat> yeah, more... Ooh. More likely than not, this is going to take up a pretty large chunk of time to, to finish. And, you know... The longer a run actually is, the less likely it'll get accepted to GDQ. Or it'll be like the graveyard shift. Which, bleh. I'm too old for that shit. that downgrade your sword in Zelda 1? It shouldn't. But you never know. So we'll find out next Zelda 1 trip. Alright, so I need a good crystal and two pendants. Turtle Rock, Skull Woods, Misery Mire. Okay. So I'm actually not that far off. Fire Rod or Bombos and Samaria. And then Mirror and Flippers. Oh. 
God, excuse me. All right, I might have to go. Hey, speaking of. <laughs> Flippy floppies. <clears throat> I might take a little break and go get some food. I'm still hungry after we talked about <laughs> food for an hour. I did not, right? Last night, uh, I was in a lot of pain yesterday, so I was mostly trying to ignore the pain in any way I could. Uh, I mean, I I still take ibuprofen or uh, acetaminophen in the morning and in, at night, usually. But the, the big pain meds I haven't taken for a couple weeks now. I still have a couple tablets if I really, really need to, but I really don't want to. It's more just like, you know, we're progressing pretty well. And as we progress, you know, the PT start to get harder, the at-home exercises start to get harder. Uh, we're, you know, we're not exclusively focusing on knee flexibility anymore. We still are. But, like, I can bend my knee, like, 90, 100, 110 degrees now. So now we're also focusing on getting my quad muscle back and just rebuilding the knee muscle that's there. And it's just... It's just a lot. But yeah, I, I took... I probably took narcotics for, like, the first... 10 days? If that, it might have been like just over a week. Yeah, and like obviously it's incredibly important to, to keep up with my PT, but it's also incredibly important to let your body rest and like, you know. You hear all these horror stories about, like, people who don't take their PT seriously. And, like, you know, they never regain, like, full, uh, you know, use of their whatever had surgery you had surgery on. And so, like, you want to, you want to work as hard as you can, but you also need to be able to just take rest days because your body still needs to heal. So it's tough to not, like, overdo it. Um, I did do, like, prehab. Uh, where I was, um... I was, like, cycling a bunch. And, you know, trying to... To keep my knee, uh, as strong as possible before surgery. Bro, and even tracking keys. I did forget. Uh, I think we have, like, 12 now. The, the key tracking part is also less important now. And it'll be more important as I, you know, like, have to be strategic. And when, when, when you know, 
when I'm trying to put Solsky in the dumpster, it'll be a little more important to keep track of my Zelda 1 keys so I don't accidentally double dip a dungeon because I don't know how many keys I have. But for now, the key tracking is less important. We also, we also got a, a smidge lucky on that one seed we did where the magic key was the literal first item I checked in the run. That was nice. I wish that would happen more often. <laughs> Why do they butcher the heart container spray? Oh. At this point, I'd rather have a uh, charge beam because we have all the other beams except for spacer, I guess. Okay, this is the last crystal that I can. Unless we happen to get mirror in here. <laughs> Listen, Billy Maze doesn't exist. It's dead. All right. Quadre, thanks for the 22 months. Appreciate you. All right, so the bow lets me beat level six. I don't think we need the flute to get to Goma. I could be wrong though. Let me open up my level six map. I'm still, I'm still a little fuzzy with dungeon requirements in Zelda One. Is there... No, okay. So, yeah, we can beat level 6 in Zelda 1. Level 6 kind of sucks ass, though, so I'd rather not. <laughs> not yet, anyways. Forgot about bombable walls. Yeah, those are kind of important in this dungeon. A smidge important. I'm gonna have to go back for, unless it's the map or the compass, the uh, big key chest after I beat the dungeon. Ooh, the red ring. All right.
Does it work now? I mean, the ring's always worked. Well, not in V1. But the red ring, or the rings worked in every version after that. They were just uh, visually broken. Uh, this is in very early alpha still, sweet Sharking Fox. Don't worry, I will let everybody know when this is publicly available to test. But yeah, it's most likely going to be closed alpha for a little while. Since there's still a, a decent amount of large bugs to be fixed. <clears throat> Why is Twitch pushing six ads in a row? Because uh, I play 90 seconds of ads every 30 minutes. <laughs> Gotta keep them pre-rolls out. one alive still? finished two of them so far. Although one of them I had to cheat to get into Ganus Tower. Um, but I did beat Metroid 1 in one of them. I also beat Zelda 1 in that one, which I could have finished, but I did not. Oh, oddity gifting a sub to Swedish Arctic Fox. Welcome to the Pug Farm, Swedish Arctic Fox. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much, Oddity. I appreciate you. Ay -ay -ay. Uh, all right, pod is done. Look at us. We got 10, 10 bosses killed. What do I have tonight? I think it's going to be a really good game. I think it's going to be tough for both of the defenses to stop either offense. But, uh... I think I give the 49ers a little baby edge. <clears throat> I'm just hoping for a good game. That's all I want. That's all I really want with Super Bowls. I never have any personal team investment in the Super Bowl because my football team is bad. Okay, this should be a morph ball just to prevent hard locks. Yeah, so we don't need that.
And I've only found one Metroid E-Tank. That's actually pretty bad. Uh, I don't know if I can beat Kraid with one E-Tank. I'll try. Uh, last seed didn't have any of the the big bad beeps. So it might be fixed, but I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I don't know if I found all of the E-Tanks last seed. Huge? Uh, there are transitions, um, for now there's only one transition to Metroid 1 and one transition to Zelda 1, uh, but in the future there will be, uh, doors you go through to transition to any of the games from any one of the other games. Uh, do I need to go that way? Yes. But for now, for the alpha te uh, for alpha testing purposes, there's only uh, there's a door, one door in Link to the Past that takes you to Zelda One, one door in Link to the Past that takes you to Metroid One, and then the Super Metroid Link to the Past portals are all the same as they normally are. So there's four each of them. Um. Uh, I don't know if anybody's tested the Justin Bailey password. Actually. Right, at least we have Vice Beam. Finally made it out. Jesus. Come on, where's my health, dude? Oh, man. All right, anyways. Metroid 1 worth going back and replaying? Eh.
No fucking way, bro. <laughs> Put that on the review box cover. Eh. Alright, there's no more items in this area. Come on, dude. Yo, Kelsey! The big ol' raid. Welcome, gamers. We are farming health in Metroid 1. It's the most exciting content you can find on Twitch. How's your stream, babe? Big Korok hunting, let's go. If I don't have full health here, Kraid's probably gonna body me, and Kraid might body me in any ways. I think I would uh, ideally make all of these health bombs 20 instead of 5. You can get a 20 health drop, but it seems to be very rare. If I up B, I would get all my health back for Metroid 1, but I'd be back at the beginning of Kraid Slayer. So, it's more, uh, farming just takes forever. Alright, let's reset. Only like 29 more drops, gamers. No, it's not that many. It's like 22. 
No! I morphed. These bugs also do 20 damage, which is insane. Yeah, bugs in Brinstar don't do that much. Casual gamer NY, thanks for this the raid. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Just in time for an epic crate battle. Hope we had a good stream, dude. Here we go. Nope. Crate's too strong, dude. later. See ya. <sighs> Did your first cross keys today? Heck yeah. Congrats, dude. Ice Beam seems like it causes issues. Uh, I'd probably say yes and no. Because uh, Ice Beam does freeze the the little, little spiky shooters. Um, there's just like so little iframes that you just take damage so quickly and so often. Try morph bombs instead of missiles. Uh, what's up, Dakota? Welcome to the stream. takes up two screens in Super Metroid. I don't think you can freeze the low shot. I don't think it's possible unless you also have Wave Beam. Here we go. 
Yo, size, thanks to 17 months. Uh, that's changed in the rando. There's a patch to combine beams. <clears throat> Wowee. All right. Yeah, either or in normal gameplay was kind of weird. I remember finding them and then <laughs> they just swapped and I was like, oh. I don't know which one I want. Wrong game, E tank. Unbelievable. <laughs> Ugh, no. Uh, okay, where am I? I'm up here. So I want to go this way. What's up from time? Each game starts at half health and fighting upgrades for one rank. <laughs> one game removes one from another. That'd be pretty funny, actually. You ever played a Metroid game? I... Uh, my mom bought Metroid 1 when I was a kid. And... Hated it so much that she returned it. And then we never owned another Metroid game. So I didn't play Metroid until I was an adult. Metroid 1 items are kind of trash today. You thought I was 17 today, I learned. Yep, I'm just 17.
definitely haven't been streaming on Twitch for 12 or 14 years. Is this the right one? Yes. <clears throat> old. Hey, it's fellow old author blues. Alright, that bug is still bugged. <gasps> I don't have enough missiles! I'm so stupid! I'm not old. Okay, Grandpa. Time to go back to the retirement home. My missiles. <sighs> Come on. Another bug up here? There is. Oh. No! Come on. Ow. Not the biggest fan of side scroller games. So many good side scroller games, though. Because I wouldn't play M1. Hey, M1 is great. Alright. from me you glitched bug get out of here you better be gone Here we go again. There we go. Didn't take me as long as the other day. That's all that matters. Ah. 
How you doing, Arthur Blues? Eh. Oh yeah, the Metroid 1 beam without long beam is atrocious. I'm so excited about the Super Bowl tonight. I'm more excited about the pigs in the blanket I'm going to have for the Super Bowl tonight. One team is vaguely washed in colors. I just want a good game. Pigs in a blanket? Yup, exactly. Actual pigs. Is here for Scorigami. That's true. Scorigami is the football stat, stat heard around the world. <gasps> Spazer. when the last Korigami in the Super Bowl was. <sighs> Alright, we gotta go this way. For a missile pack. <gasps> Long, boys! Three to eight. God, I forgot about that Super Bowl. No. You like how findable that info was? like long beam didn't actually turn on okay uh so let's add a notes page uh c2 got long beam in norfair didn't actually get long beam uh 230 ish Sorry, it was loud beam. Uh, 
Oh, it could have been the reset. Very much could have been the reset. Twenty to one. God. God, I couldn't imagine if I was into sports betting, I could not imagine being like, yeah, I'll put my money on whether there will be a scorigami in the Super Bowl. I too would like to throw my money away. Scorigami is a score that has never happened before. The amount of people that are mad about Taylor Swift being shown on TV is actually ridiculous. I too get mad about a celebrity being shown for a total of 12 seconds during a football game. So we did all of that stuff. Man, do I have to go back and get that stupid ass long beam? This is the wrong, this is the wrong door. Does an uppy normally save items collected? That I don't know. There's a prop bet for Travis Kelsey proposing.
Okay, well, the fact that this item is gone tells me that it does save items. Or it, it either doesn't save items and they're deleted. Either or. Alright, I'm not doing anything else in here. Fuck this game. <laughs> Ugh. Um... Well, long beam isn't one of the beams that combines. It's just wave and ice. Normally, it's wave and ice are interchangeable in this game. And there's multiple locations for both. Long beam is uh, independent. Is there a place where you can see updates on the rando? Not currently, no. Well, that's not entirely true on the various handful of streamers who have the closed alpha privilege. Which is like me, Solsky, Lack Attack, Cross Products, currently. All right, let's see if we have Long Beam. Nope. Rip long beam, dude. Bombos. Maybe that long beam will work. <laughs> All right, well, let me look at this blur log. Um, M1 Norfair, top left. It might have been an, a Metroid missile pack. Oh, uh, no, a Super Metroid missile pack. We have 30 supers. No, it wasn't M1 missiles, it was Super Metroid missiles.
Everyone's favorite wall jump. like a pixel perfect wall jump without high jump boots on Considering M2 is on Game Boy, that's going to be more difficult. <laughs> AM2R port? Yeah, port AM2R to the SNES, dude. Be more likely to port all the other games to PC, I guess. I also don't like AM2R. So, game kind of sucks. Super Game Boy ROM. I don't think you guys know how Super Game Boy works. <laughs> you can get Super Game Boy to work on specifically the SD to SNES Pro, but it requires an entirely different firmware from the normal firmware. So it's not just like, haha. Super Game Boy <laughs> doesn't quite work like that, unfortunately. Imagine you're infinitely more likely to see that never happen. Please, Ridley. How are you still pogoing that direction? What are you doing? Okay, you're 
dead. Pick me up. That was close. We got 13. That should be fine. What am I doing? going to use the crystal flash at some point, most likely. You don't know why farming an SM feels so much better than an M1? Because uh, the drop rates aren't ass. could do research on porting a Game Boy game to the SNES, but I'd be hard-pressed to find any research about porting a GB game to the SNES and also combining it with four other Super Nintendo games on the same ROM chip. <laughs> um, we didn't even get, like, NES ports of games until, like, last year. So the documentation, documentation on that is also probably pretty poor by itself. I can't see anything. Wall jump. God. Yo, double E tank. Let's go.
All right, so we got blue candle and mirror down here. I think that's it. You know what I really want? I want a uh, ninja to floss for the halftime show. Wouldn't that be epic? You get a rando seed, you need to feed it the ROMs yourself? Yes. You give it the vanilla, the base ROMs, and it gives you a patched version of them. Otherwise, the randomizer websites would be distributing ROMs, which is uh, heavily frowned upon. And then the randomizers probably wouldn't exist. Yup, then what would we we'd do? We'd be bored. I'd be out of a job, probably. <laughs> um, all right, swamp time. Well, I wouldn't necessarily be out of a job but I wouldn't be doing this job. I'm in the dark world. Cool. I got bored and burnt out with speedrunning in like 2016. <laughs> Maybe 2017. I'll be, I'll be a little generous. Switch to Dark Souls randos. I have to play Dark Souls first. That'll happen one day. The React streamer. God. Uh, the goal, uh, eventually, once it's, uh, more fleshed out, will be to beat all four of the games. So, you know, get seven crystals, beat Ganon, uh, beat all four Metroid bosses, and kill Mother Brain in Super Metroid, uh, beat all eight dungeons in Zelda 1, and beat Ganon in level 9, and then beat Kraid and Ridley, and then beat Mother Brain in Metroid 1. Um, well, most, uh, most of the randomized Z SNES hasn't been updated since, like, 1994, so, um, a lot of the randomizers for Super Nintendo are developed without Z SNES in mind, and Z SNES just doesn't do things that it needs to do for the randomizers to work. Bombos. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I totally used East Nest back in the day. Snowy version? Isn't that all of them? I don't think I ever used East Nest where there wasn't snow on it. <gasps> That's my last bomb. Oh my god. Uh, I think the version on YouTube is version 2, and this is version 4. Play the Zelda OT randomizer. I have played OT randomizer before, yes. It's a good time. It's just a lot longer and slower than Link to the Past. It takes like 10 minutes to go anywhere in that game. You can choose a dungeon, go to it, and beat it in, like, seven minutes or less in the length of the past. Imagine if they stuffed Final Fantasy SNES games into the randomizer, then I would never play it. bombs. Oh. FF4 Free Enterprise is pretty swift. Yeah, but I've never played a Final Fantasy game and I'm almost certainly never going to. <laughs> RPG games make me go sleepies. Side of a link to the past. Oh, I could be a baby and, pro and say Super Metroid Map Rando. Uh, but Tunic Rando is pretty high up there, too. another dungeon. I can beat ice with that bomb as I got. Oh, Hollow Knight's a really good rando, too. I do enjoy me a Hollow Knight rando. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go buy some bombs. What's up, Taylor? Pokemon Rando's all right. Pokemon Rando gets a little stale. Like the the randomizing options are they're okay. It's like fun every once in a while, but it's not something that I could like do on a regular basis. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I like, don't see the wider appeal of, like, 2D platformer randos. It was on mountain. So nice, you got a flute then. Yeah, Dread Rando is really cool. It makes the game interesting. Being able to get like power bombs early or like wave beam early to progress through the game all over the place. Then like the, the train and elevator randos are really cool. I enjoy Dread Rando. Dread Rando. Dread Rando. I fucked up. Shark cookie board. Oh my goodness. That sounds great. Oh. Yeah, I'm down to stop soon. Three hours is like a nice sweet spot to be in the middle-ish of, uh, of one of these bad boys for now. Why did I menu to hookshot? the 20 to 30 minute range um probably not zelda one is pretty short zelda one and super metroid are both relatively short depending upon the settings you turn on um but there's just not that many good video games that are that short Like Link to the Past has settings that you can turn on that can make it pretty short. If you do like a Triforce hunt or whatever. Um, I need to go through this door. Does Hades have a randomizer? I know Hades has like crowd control support. Um, once the quad rando gets fully released, the goal will be to beat all four games. Um, but for now, the credits are called when you beat either Zelda 1 or Metroid 1 or Super Metroid and A Link to the Past. Since the SMZ3 credits are... Uh, are still tied together. Yeah, Hades is already kind of random. Call it a rando. 
in regards to somebody asking about 20 to 30 minute randomizers. Do some flipper stuff, I guess. I haven't done any of the flipper stuff except for swap. All right, so let's see. Link to the past needs Samaria and any fire source. Oh, yeah, that'll be done later. Oh, pancakes. But for the, the alpha testing purpose, it's not necessary. Um, for SM, I need a bunch more ammo. Or charge beam. Zelda 1, I still need the flutes, and that's it. I have level 8 and level 6 fully available. Yeah, you can lock wall jump behind an item requirement, which is pretty wild. We'll probably stop here. Uh, how are you? Thanks for the 55 month or... <clears throat> and then we'll uh, finish this off tomorrow after my physical therapy. Zelda saving is still bugged, so we're going to go save in Super Metroid near Meridia, since that's going to be the first thing I do tomorrow. It's your boy, P. Good, so working and a donut in the Your boy! Sunday because I honor no Sabbath, not even for Taylor Swift. May she have mercy on all us sinners. Hopefully with the express written permission of the NFL. <laughs> be good, so thanks for the 100 bits, dude. I appreciate you. Oh, but all right. Good seed. Nothing too crazy broken besides that weird long beam uh, in Metroid 1. Um, and yeah, we're pretty close to go mode. Handful of items away. Um, let me pause my timer. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thirteen bosses done in a little over three hours. It's pretty sick. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see who else is streaming today. Yeah, we got Spike streaming. Um, Author Blues is streaming. Oh my goodness. It's playing Jerry Rice football or something. He's been live for 11 minutes. Let's go right to Author Blues. I love my boy, Author Blues. He's playing football for the football day. Football! Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see y'all tomorrow, nice and early. My PT, I should be back by like 11, so I imagine I'll probably like eat and then stream. So, um, sometime around lunchtime Eastern. 
I'll uh, continue this bad boy. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Uh, no races have been scheduled yet. We're still working on it. Right, bye.